Good morning everyone. Today I thought I would do an updated everyday makeup tutorial just because I've kind of got a few steps I like to do in my day to day life like when I just want to put on makeup for whatever reason like to hang with friends or whatever on the weekend or whatever I'm doing. So yeah I don't think I've filmed an everyday makeup tutorial in a long time like I've done heaps of looks that are suitable for everyday but I've been showing you like what I like to use. I feel like my base routine's a little bit different, like my foundation and everything, so let's go. Yeah, the last time I showed you my everyday makeup routine was about seven months ago, and I feel like it's a little bit different, so yeah. This look's not going to be super revolutionary, of course. It's just going to be like chill, like let's just enjoy. Got a coffee, cheers if you're drinking one with me. Um, By the way, if my eyebrows look a little bit crazy it's because I got them tattooed um and they're like halfway between like being peeled and unpeeled so there's all these like dry bits of skin but I can't pick at it because it'll stuff them so I'm so sorry I was trying to like hold off filming into Lower Hill but it's taking a while so we're just gonna roll with it so I won't be using any brow products today but normally what I do is I just outline them and then I just use some brow gel so it's pretty simple now I don't know if this is like an unpopular opinion but I actually really like the Kylie Skin Hyaluronic Acid Serum, especially before makeup. Like, it makes my skin feel so plump and soft and hydrated. And my skin's literally, like, peeling right now. I don't know why. Um, I haven't been using anything harsh on it. In fact, the opposite. I've really, like, simplified my skincare routine. I've done, like, my microdermabrasion to help with the dryness as well. And, like, get rid of all the flaky skin, which did help. But like just in between my eyebrows and stuff it might be because you can't get your eyebrows super wet after you get them tattooed so I've been really careful when like cleansing my face not to get that area so my theory is that it's just like build up because I haven't been able to properly like scrub at my skin with my hands and you know facial tool like right in here and like on my forehead just here has been really flaky that must be what it is but anyways this hyaluronic acid serum just like really makes everything feel so plump and soft and hydrated it's magic i feel a little bit wheezy right now because i had a blood test this morning i'm getting all of my hormones checked out some of you may or may not know but i've got a dodgy thyroid so I've got the underactive one I get confused which is fast and slow because it's like the same way it's like hypo or hyper anyway mine's slow so I'm on medication for it so I'm doing like just some tests because I found that the pills I'm on get me a real 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 like jittery and anxious um, I've tried a couple different like complete different medications so we're trying to figure it all out and everything but anyways just got some blood tests done so I'm having my coffee I had some toast before too I never eat really breakfast or anything but I had some toast having some coffee I don't know if that's wise or not but I just feel a bit like ugh. so there's a little life update I figure I need to get my hormones in check because they really do like make up so much of your overall health and I often feel anxious and tired and um, all these different things and struggle with like controlling my weight and controlling all of these different things and it all comes down to stupid you know hormones and thyroid and I get bad cortisol and all these different things so I figure I need to like sort it out just because of my own sanity but also like before I have babies I'm like I should probably make sure like everything is all good so yeah i've already got like a professional lined up but we're just doing some like blood tests and stuff first do any of you guys struggle with that kind of stuff or is it like i know it's not just me but let me know if you feel comfortable your experience down below i'd love to hear because yeah it's very hard to figure it all out like there's no easy way to just like sort it you know oh, i've got like freaking blackheads popping up in between my eyebrows too because i haven't been cleaning it properly anyways so for my base I have been doing something slightly different I'm going to show you my hair today too even though it's going to be really easy but um it's just damp at the moment I washed in the shower my top is Miss Lola my earrings are Miss Lola this scrunchie is by Bang and Bod which is like the moisturizer I use all the time it's on my bench top I love this I would put some on right now but I'm freshly fake tanned <laughs> it looks quite cute actually I like it do you know what I actually have been using like when I've not been so fake tanned is my <laughs> The Robeck Leo Ali Triple The Solution BB Cream. If you know, you know. Please comment below if you remember this. Like, literally, I just have to know. Like, have you been following me this long? Iconic. I just want to share with you my favorite kind of BB cream. So, these are higher coverage than a tinted moisturizer, but they're not like super, super, super full on and super matte or anything. They're quite natural looking, quite hydrating, and also they have 
SPF in them which is perfect for day to day especially if you're like me and like to use like chemical exfoliants and stuff regardless like everyone should be using SPF because it can still age your skin through windows and all sorts of stuff if you're sitting in front of a window like you're still aging so it's important to protect your skin and protect it from cancers and everything too you all know the spiel and I just as much am guilty of it like sometimes I just forget about SPF so stuff like this is perfect just for your day to day wear because it's included it's perfect technically you should be also reapplying it but hey it's better than nothing so Leowelly triple the solution this does not come in many shades so you have to check that out I also love Chi Chi super CC cream this is really really good too I might even use this today just because I haven't used in ages it comes in a few different shades too and then we also have the it cosmetics CC cream which is my holy grail just the original one not the pink packaging one this is just the CC color correcting full coverage cream SPF 50 and the shades I find run a little bit dark so fair is not really fair it's like light to medium and I find medium almost like too dark for me ever but I might hmm, Nah, even right now, look, it's like quite dark. Okay, I'm just gonna swap. I can't remember what shade I am of the CC cream by Chi Chi. I feel like that's gonna be perfect. This is the shade medium. Just so you can see, like, this is fair in the It Cosmetics. It's only like one shade of that lighter than medium. So, light is my perfect shade for like fake tan. Does that make sense? I don't Just in case you're like a similar skin tone to me. Then, what I've been doing is taking my flat face brush or a round face brush this is exo beauty and i literally have just been like buffing it in like this in a nice thin layer because i have found lately like for my everyday wear i just haven't been enjoying like a real heavy feeling on my skin so i haven't been doing like liquid foundation concealer powder like the whole shebang i've just kind of been using a thin layer and then doing a little bit of concealer and then I'll usually like set under my eyes quite well and then just kind of powder where I need it rather than like all over. But I still love doing that for full glam looks like when I'm doing YouTube and stuff like that or if I'm doing like really dramatic makeup and I want it to last. But just for like when I'm slipping on makeup and I just want it to be quick and easy and pretty like this is what I do. And literally like the finish of all of these CC creams is so pretty. I think I will end up just mixing um, medium, medium and light together from... Um, Chi Chi. Why am I getting so confused? My brain's not working how it should today, but that's fine. I felt a little bit funny, like, after getting my blood taken, and I was just like, oh, maybe I should just, like, chill today and not do anything, but I just felt like filming. I didn't even know what I was going to film. I was sitting there thinking, what can I do? I just wanted it to be chill today, so I hope you guys enjoy this. The elections are happening today while I'm filming this. Ugh. Every time I do my throat, it's like, Ugh. and I'm feeling very anxious about that because even though I'm not American, it still affects like the whole world. That's the thing. People don't really realize it, but it does. It affects everyone almost in the whole world, and I'm just like a little bit anxious about it all. I'm pretty happy with how our elections went. I think that. The medical marijuana bill should have passed. Well, not medical marijuana. That's already available. But just the marijuana bill. I think it should have passed because I feel like it helps so many people. Currently, it is medicinal. But when my Nana was really sick in hospital, I looked into getting it for it. And it was so expensive. It's not accessible. And especially for people that are, you know, in a lower income household. Like, there's no freaking way. And if you had a, like... If you had someone that needed that and my memory card just did something real weird, it said it's got heaps of space on it according to my computer, but on my camera, it ain't working. So I'm like praying that none of my previous footage is corrupt. I'm just going to carry on like normal. But yeah, it just makes it so, I, I hope I'm carrying on where I left off, but it makes it more accessible for everyone. I mean, otherwise people are just going to end up going the illegal right anyway plus like the economy like it would have brought bought in so much money jobs opportunities it could have helped clear out prisons from people that do not deserve to be there um it would have taken power out of dodgy people selling it it would have made it cleaner more regulated and safer because let's be real people are gonna do it no matter what that's just my opinion obviously you're allowed your different opinion and you know that's why we all had the power to vote but it is what it is i reckon it's only a matter of time in the future till it is legalized all right so that's looking pretty good next up i'm going to just pop on a little bit of concealer in my eyes i don't do too much crazy concealer because my under eyes are so 
creepy these days like honestly ever since turning like 28 i've noticed so many like fine lines under my eyes so that's real cute all of this friggin makeup has caught up with me clearly and i've not been using eye cream religiously enough so for me right now hydration is key so i'm going to use the it cosmetics illumination full coverage concealer this is in medium but this one's not as dark as like the medium cc cream obviously the shades are a bit different and I'm just going to blend this out. This is a dual petal brush by Her Beauty. But yeah, I mean, obviously by the time this video goes up, we'll have more information about the elections and everything overseas, but oh, I mean, I've got my views and I would like to see Trump gone personally. Obviously I've got no way to vote or anything, but I do think that every single person in a presidential or prime minister role New Zealand, America, England, wherever the person may be. I do think that like there are things they do that are good and things they do that I don't agree with. And I think that's gonna be the case until the end of time. Like there is no way one person can impress everyone. Do you know what I mean? But I think a lot of it comes down to like their actual personal morals as well. Um, obviously wise business choices are important for a country. So it's a successful country, but also just being an actual good person and thinking about humans is like important to me. Do you know what I mean? Like after all, like we are all human and we all have like feelings and we're all the ones like earning money for these countries. We're all working, paying our taxes, doing all of these things. Must be a hard job being, um, you know, Jacinda Ardern or whoever. Next up, we're going to set under our eyes with the yellow powder from my little MAC set. I just use a small face brush to do this just to help prevent sun creasing. It doesn't really work that well because my eyes are just creased. Like there's nothing I can do at this point. You know, nothing I can apply that would stop that unless I actually got fillers and stuff like that. So it's more just about like, you know, making it a little bit better than it could be if I didn't set it at all. This is one of the better under eye powders. Like my favorite still might be a minerals ones, but I need to place an order and get it like forded and stuff because you can't buy it here. And I just haven't gotten around to doing it. So this is another really good one that doesn't like go too heavy under my eyes or look too crazy. It's really comfy under my eyes. Nothing comfortable to wear. And then for contouring, I haven't done crazy powder contouring day to day. Let's use a little bit of this. This is Sunset by Ofra and it's just like a really nice natural kind of vibe. And I'm just using a tapered face brush which is more of like a you know tulip kind of shape and I just blend that out. It's nice and quick. Look at that. This is like one of the best cream contours or liquid contours sorry I've ever used. Um, definitely go buy it by Ofra. I love it. It's probably like my favorite product I've done. The color is so perfect for me too. Now for powder, I've been using like just in my day to day, a lot of this. This is Gobi, no, yes, Gobi by Makeup Store Australia. And I just like to kind of put it where I bronze cause it's like a bronze color. So I like to go just over the cheek and then around the temples. It looks crazy at first, but it blends out so easy. I like this makeup too, because if I feel like it's kind of wearing off, like I just come back into my room and I just like buff it out again, you know, like just add a little bit more, take a little bit off, smooth it out. Look, it's nice because it's like very skin like there's not too many heavy layers or anything like that. But otherwise, like it still does wear so nicely. Like It doesn't look crap when it wears off. Do you know what I mean? Lasts a good amount of time. It's just pretty. Pretty, pretty Sunday brunch makeup or if you're just like hanging out whatever you just want to look a little bit like alive and pretty <laughs> I've been a little bit insecure with my skin lately like it keeps getting better and worse and better and worse so I went to the doctor about my hormones once again like I already said and he's like yeah those are hormonal <laughs> so I think my body's trying to tell me something I think something's not quite right but we will get to the bottom of it eventually see this is nice and sheer though so doesn't look like I've added too much bronze or anything. It's just like a nice light wash of color. It's like kind of translucent with like a little hint and it gives a really pretty glow. And honestly, I'm not too worried about like little breakout dots and stuff like that. Like I don't fuss around too much because once again, it, I just really like the light feeling. And I think especially coming up to summer, it's just nice just to let your skin breathe a little bit underneath the makeup, not feel like it's plastered on. Gosh, I never thought I would have heard myself saying that. I still love my um, Fit Cover foundation, by the way, the mineral foundation that's bomb. But this is just what I've been using lately. I don't know, I go through phases. Then I just take a random bronzer, just any bronzer. 
This is the one I grabbed today. It's the bronzing powder by Tom Ford. So I have a little bit of this through the crease. And mainly it's just to kind of hide some of those veins and just make sure that like the CC cream and concealer and stuff doesn't melt and leak everywhere in my crease. And I like to go under my eyes too. You can use eyeshadow if you want, but usually I just grab this or one of my EXO Beauty palettes. And I like to wing my eyeshadow or whatever I'm putting on my eyes out like this past my eyebrow. I just feel like it looks pretty and lifted and it just suits my eye shape. Then I'm going to take my EXO Beauty Native Florian Fauna palette and I'm going to take the shade Manuka, which is this like creamy white gold highlight shade. I just love this like a little bit on the brow bone and the in a corner. I'm just using this little P. Louise brush. I just use whatever. Sometimes I even use like a little Q-tip. Oh, I feel so nasally. My hair fever's gone crazy again lately. I feel like it's settled down for a couple weeks and now it's just like back with a vengeance. I'm just going to take a little bit of Pekka Pekka and I'm going to use my finger just to like press a little bit of that on my eyelid just so it looks pretty. Sometimes I don't do this. Like sometimes I just leave it more matte looking but it's cute. Now, I've shown you this before but this is like my favorite little thing I've been doing again lately. I used to do it all the time and then I kind of stopped. Um, if I can find it. That's annoying. Why does this always happen? I literally just used it. Oh, it's right in front of me. <laughs> okay. It's right here. The roller liner in brown. I just like love this one. And I've just been doing a little half wing. What just happened? Like, why does my hand do that? I'm going to attempt to wipe it off. I mean, can I just... And then... I like to do quite a dramatic wing. Because this is like the one part of my makeup that I'm like, okay, let's have a bit of fun. Keep everything else really simple. This is like quick for me to do too. I still love my smoky liner that I've been doing all the time, but like, I don't know, I just got back into this. Something like that. I know it looks so crazy right now, but once you put on like lashes, it looks great. And I know, weird, but I do. I put on false lashes pretty much every time I wear makeup. It's just my love, my my obsession. I can't do my makeup without them most of the time. Like, literally, probably one in every 25 times I wear makeup, I won't wear falsies. Like, I just love it. So just a straight line like that. Smooth it out, and then just kind of connect the outer. Like, look how crazy that looks straight away. But it all comes together, trust the process. And this is like one of my favorite browns and eyeliner in the whole world. I love it. It's so good. And then mascara. I used this one again recently. And every time I use it, I freaking love it. It's definitely a favorite. It's the Inica one. I'm pretty sure this one's vegan too. And I also put nude on my waterline. But I usually do it after my mascara. Otherwise, I always get mascara on my waterline. Then I have to wipe it off and start over. So mascara first. I've been religious with my Revitalash again. Literally seeing results all ready. Like, let me see if I can show you, like how long my natural lashes are right now. We sell Revital Lash on Exo Beauty Shop and we ship worldwide there. So if you wanna try it, hit it up. I don't know why it's working so quickly for me. Like I was real slack with it for ages. Literally like, can you see my lashes? That's a shitty coat too. Like imagine it with two coats of mascara, but I still use falsies. <laughs> I need to go get like another lash lift. Like look at the side on profile. Like they're so thick and long. Next side, I like to do like a stroke behind my lashes too. Just cause I feel like it makes them so much thicker. How have you guys been? If you have some like good news, please comment it below. I would love some good news right now. We've been going through a lot in our personal life right now and I just feel like I want to hear about your good news. Like did you graduate recently or you're about to? Have you had a baby? Have you got married? Have you got some kind of success, a promotion? Like let me know. I know a lot of us are going through lots of hard things at the moment but even if it's just a small victory I'd love to know. Like look at the lashes. And see, like, even with, like, mascara on, the eyeliner no longer looks, like, as mental. I mean, it's still mental, but, you know. All right, I'm just going to let that dry and figure out what lashes I'm going to wear. Today, I'm going to wear the Fangirls. So, the Fangirl are these really pretty, like, spacey, clumpy, not really clumpy, but, you know, fluster lashes. So, here is the before. By the way, you can see that my eyeliner is slightly patchy it's because mine's running out i need to probably do like another layer but anyway before and after i love these ones um they just look really pretty flirty simple not too over the top perfect for daytime so i like that look 
normally I would fill in some of these gaps on my eyebrows but once again I can't really do that today I can't get makeup in them and I feel like I actually did a little bit there whoops I'm just using a dry cotton tip real gently because I don't want to like peel off scabs yum scabs I love that word hmm my lashes are acting up right now this one is flicking out of the inner corner but I've just re-glued it down so hopefully we are sorted um I've been loving this lip combo this is Sienna by Jouet once again I've lost Mari but it's a similar color maybe like a shade darker and I overdraw my lips every time if you don't like it don't do it mostly just my top lip though the bottom one I pretty much just follow the natural line and then I kind of overline it right at the like very bottom okay jokes normally I wear deja vu I've also misplaced that I just checked my handbag and neither of them are in there I must have put them in a different clutch but yeah usually it's Mari and Deja Vu by Exo Beauty, but today I'm going to show you another one I love. This color is so good. It's definitely a go-to as well, just every now and then in my real life. This is Penelope Pink by Charlotte Tilbury. It's not really a pink, it's like a nude. It's got like a creamier finish, but you can see how pretty that looks. And then Secret Gloss on top, just over like the very top of my lip, and then I kind of put it in the center. This is going to be similar to my wedding lip, but I'll use Deja Vu and Mari lip pencil and this gloss. And then highlighter, also a secret, but really you can just use anything. Like I definitely switch up my highlighters day to day. This one's got a little bit of a gold reflect to it. And once again, I feel like this is the kind of color I'm going to wear on my wedding day. <laughs> my eyebrows. <laughs> oh, bless. Okay, anyways. Yeah, that's basically like my go-to makeup look. Once again, I've done similar stuff. Um, in the past but those are kind of like the techniques the colors and some of the products I use like the cream liquid contour the BB creams like that kind of vibe less powder just more glow really quick eyeshadow the statement liner and then lashes always lashes very simple very easy now let's just do our hair real quick so I'm gonna part it kind of down the middle. My hair's like mostly dry, but I'm just gonna whip over it with a hair dryer real quick, just brush it out. This is the GHD hairbrush. I'm also going to put in the unplugged heat protect spray for GHD. How crazy is it that all of this hair under here is all like natural now? Like all of that's just my natural color because I never get foils underneath anymore. Like I only ever do the top sections. One day I just want to grow out my natural hair color and just like rock it. Looks so weird. And then I'm going to use my Helios Hair Dry by GHD. This is a limited edition like white or a decent gold kind of vibe one. And I've got the GHD Glide Hair. This is perfect if you're like me and you just can't be bothered with your hair too much um, because it is so quick and easy and simple to use. Just turn it on, wait for it to heat up. So I'm just going to make sure my hair is parted again where I want it and then just glide the tool through. I'll do one side to show you the before and after. It also does work if your hair isn't as naturally straight as mine. Like sometimes if I let my hair completely air dry, it's very, very wavy and it still works perfectly. And my friend who has super thick and curly hair has tried this and it worked for her as well. And because my hair is already quite sleek, literally, it just takes a few brush strokes. So I can get my hair done in like three or four minutes. It's literally that simple. And can you see how much like shinier and smoother and sleeker this side is? Like it looks like I just went over with a flat iron. Like it's so good. I like this too because I don't have to worry about what the back looks like because it's just like brushing your hair, <laughs> not like traditional straightening where sometimes I'll miss a big spot. Like this covers so much surface area and it gives a more naturally straight look, like just sleek, not like dead pin straight, like you still keep that volume and you still keep that texture. If you find the eyeliner too harsh, definitely try out the other method I use a lot, which is like the smoky eyeliner. You can just use any dark eyeshadow and it looks so pretty if you just wing it out softly. Yeah, this is just what I do when I want like a little bit more oomph and I just feel like being a little bit more dramatic but still every day. Like it's not like too crazy, or well, for me anyway. Alternatively, just do a smaller wing. Like if you still want to do like a harsher wing, just do a little flick instead, instead of like the full on eyeliner. I don't know, I just love it, especially because it's in that brown. It doesn't look as harsh as black. 
I just think it's so pretty. I hope you are all well. If you need a hug right now, I'm sending you virtual hugs, sending my love. Feel free to come chat on Instagram, chat in DMs. I literally reply to like 20 a day. And then the ones in my inbox too, I try to reply to as many of you as possible. I pretty much like am most active over on my Instagram stories at the moment and YouTube, but like Instagram stories and vlogs. So yeah, I'll see you there. Bye.